Okay. Uh, what's on the map? What needs to be done? Okay. Yeah. The lag is back. Nice place you brought us to, my brother. Yes. Lovely, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, makes me miss freezing to death in the mountains. <laughs> yeah. Well, okay. Let me see. Okay, well that's okay. Uh, I guess we're gonna go shave. Before we do anything else. Because Arthur's looking a little... He's looking a little funky. Oop, oop, oop. second. Where is my room? It's over here. Okay. Shaving kit. There we go. All right, we'll go talk to Hosea. Everything okay, Arthur? Yes, Hosea. Everything is okay. Hosea? Hey, Arthur. Come on! If we're gonna make it to this party, it's sure milk. as shit better clean up a little. So we're doing this? Oh, yeah. Old friend Dutch Vanderlind is finally showing his true colors. Social climbing. <laughs> Old Senor Bronte, that... Horrendous snake has invited us to the ball, Cinderella. So my suggestion is we go and get you a gown. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Oh. It, they wanted me to go buy a suit, but I'd already I bought a suit. never been to a ball in my life. Nor have I, if I am being honest. I used to quite often. There could be fine tickets. Oh, no, 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 no pickpocketing. We are here to make real contact. What kind of contact? Well, I don't know. We'll find what we can. All I know for sure is we are going to a party at the mayor's house, huh? and the guest of honor is the worst crook in town. <laughs> I am sure that we will find something. Okay. <laughs> Gentlemen, Luca, I'm afraid the mayor does not allow guns at official functions after last year's incident. Luca here will take you to Mr. Bronte. I believe he is expecting you. Follow me, gentlemen. This way, please, gentlemen. Senior Bronte will be so pleased that you made it. We are honored to be here. <laughs> That's wonderful, wonderful. That come down this way. Uh, what a beautiful evening it shall be. Mr. Brante is a very good friend with the mayor. Good evening, Pierre. Senor Napoli. As long as the mayor behaves himself, you know, Mr. Brante, he has a, a thing, you know, respect. 
Jose, Phil, you join the party. We'll meet you out back after we pay our respects to Senor Bronte. <laughs> gum gum? We'll meet you out to the balcony when you're done. Fancy, fancy house he's got here. It'd be a shame if we burnt it down. Oh, okay. for the prima volta this month, without a doubt. This is quite a party you've invited us to. Yes, quite something. Although I'm not quite sure what. So, <laughs> this is San Denis High Society. Yes, apparently so. And all these people, these, these are friends of yours, <laughs> Senor Bronte? No, 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 not quite, not quite. But they certainly are afraid of me. Like that one. See that wretch? He's the mayor. <laughs> Henri Lemieux. <laughs> He'll do anything for a dollar, and I mean anything. <laughs> Politics is a foul business. Yes. Oh, and that one too. That is Alberto Fuzar. He owns a sugar plantation out on the island, and he comes here to whore and despoil himself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, and that, that is Hobart Crowley. <laughs> a Confederate major in the war. <laughs> and a hero, they say, but that is his... His very young wife. I mean, a young mistress, that's the natural order of things, yes, but a young wife is unseemly. <laughs> oh, oh, the Redskins. <laughs> I have no sympathy for them, because whoever is stupid enough to get tricked by the Americans, no, they get what they deserve, huh? <laughs> yes, hand a letter to the mayor. Oh, yeah, that'll save you. <laughs> and that. That is Hector Fellows, mm. this self-righteous newspaper man. Maybe, maybe you will kill him for me one day. <laughs> well, we're not paid killers as such, not in cold blood anyway. I did not know you were so particular that uh, you wouldn't help a friend. Oh, I'm willing to help in any way I can, uh, within reason. <laughs> I'm going to pretend to understand what that means. I meant no offense, sir. I have none taken. None taken! <laughs> <laughs> All these vulgar people, they hate me. Non vedo l'ora di guardarti morire. Well, uh, it has been wonderful conversing with you, but I can tell that you are very busy, and I won't waste any more of your time. Yes, yes, yes. Go, enjoy yourselves, and mingle with this vulgar scum. It'll make you long for the days when you could shoot each other and scoop cows out on the open range. <laughs> Those sure were the days. <laughs> Good day, gentlemen. Mm, good day to you. But before you go, what uh, exactly are your plans? Well, we've not made any... Well... We are going to need some money. Money, yes, of course. But there's, there's money at the trolley station. They keep a lot of cash there in the day. Now, I could not involve myself in such uh, matters. But you, pff, as a guest, yes! As my guest, bah, do it, huh? <laughs> okay, good day, gentlemen. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, ragazzi, adesso il vino buono. <laughs> I'll show you to the party, gentlemen, if you'll kindly follow me. So we lock that door. I'm following Dutch. Chill, chill. Gentlemen, let's go ingratiate ourselves. Okay. Go find the mayor if you can and stay out of trouble and steal nothing unless it's information. Of course. Jose. You go find us some place to rob. Bill, go make us some new friends. I'm gonna find out if old Cornwall and what's his name, Milton, knows we're here. Gentlemen, be well. Hi there, Milton.
mister. Bonsoir. Bonsoir. How do you do, sir? Ah, get me a bloody drink. How man. do you do? I mean, not an awful fine very well, but my daughter could do better. Come to the show, I heard you went. Ooh, outrageous. These days, and gentlemen. Well, uh, Bonjour. <laughs> French culture for you. Good evening. I hope you're having How a are fine you? evening. Ah, Mr. Mayor, wonderful to see you again. <laughs> and you, this intellectual here was just insulting me regarding the Redskins. I did no such thing. <laughs> but, Mr. Lemieux, I suggested that all of us as Americans had a duty to take care of people living in this land. And that extends to Saint Denis. But, Mr. Miller, the Indian problem is not an urban problem, but a rural problem. And here in Saint Denis, we have problems of our own. I beg to differ, sir. It is not a rural problem, but a human problem, sir. An American problem. We want to end this century yet more besmirched. Blood and guilt because of more sins? Do we wish to better ourselves? I'd hope the latter. As of course do I. But things are more complex in matters of men than in the heads of the intellectuals. <laughs> Evening, ladies. Hello there. How are you all doing? It ain't complex, and you. And only an idiot like you, buddy, would try to make it so. I will not deny idiocy, sir, but perhaps now is not the time. <laughs> Typical pansy! You are drunk, Ferdinand. <laughs> I'm not drunk, you fool. But this man, this man loves darkies. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> you are pretty drunk. Yeah. Let's see you and me cool off. Well, I got Ferdinand. All right, Ferdinand, where are we going? Come on, sleep it off. Sit down and calm down. Count to a thousand. Then you can rejoin the party. Thank you, sir. My pleasure. Henri Lemieux. I hope you're enjoying my party. The mayor. Allegedly. <laughs> There's quite a place you got here. <laughs> it's not mine, and the city is horribly in debt, but we can still put on a good show. Do you know Evelyn Miller? My lord. We seem to have another deranged drunkard on our hands. Shall we? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, My pretty. lord, that fantastic. I'm glad I shaved for said party. Excuse me, father. Excuse me, father. Uh, monsieur, please. Mr. Cornwall was quite insistent, I'm afraid. Uh, he shouted down the telephone for several minutes. Mr. Cornwall is a horse's ass, and a bad horse. I'm very sorry, sir. Uh, it's not your fault. I'm a fool for trusting him. I'll come and sign it in a minute. Let me enjoy the fireworks. Of course. Let me say something about Cornwall. Yes. Find out what. Sure. Sure. Servant, I will remain undetected. He's gonna go upstairs. I already know. Is he not? I guess not. Stepping on the beat. Da, 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 da. No problem. Everything's fine. We have the place well secured. Good. Mr. Bronte has a habit of wandering about and reading whatever he likes. <laughs> We're watching him and his men like hogs. Thank you, Mr. Terry. Okay, and then he went in the house. Is everything taken care of? This 
telephone. It keeps ringing. The mayor said he will sign later. Reprobate Chip and beat him. I will not have standard slip in this house. Have you lost your mind? I said, have you lost your mind? Come here. Come here. Look at me. Look at me. I am the captain now. Okay, the game clearly wants me there. think you are. This area is not meant for the likes of you, you know this. The standards in this house are slipping. This is a final warning to you, miss. A final warning. Now get out of my sight. Sneaky sneak up the stairs. Did he leave the room? I'm assuming so. Inspect the ledger. Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Top secret. Extremely confidential. What's this say? Read from the office of the mayor, city of Saint Denis, Lemoyne. Plan of against the mayor's generosity. Uh, the magnificent gift you provided will provide will prove to be a cornerstone in the fi in our financing of our dream of establishing a world-renowned university in our city. We're now on our way to the funds necessary to found both the Divinity School and the Humanities College. Future students in Lemoyne owe a great deal of vision. Of men such as you. All right, let's uh, get out of here. For anything we can steal. I know it said no stealing, but oh well. He's just frozen. Red. Waste of time. Maybe not. Arthur? Gentlemen, I think we're done here. What did you find out? There's plenty of money, Musu, here, of course, and I, I think I found out how we can grab some of it. A big bank. Real one, I mean. But not yet. A city bank? Maybe. And a stuffed one. We're gonna leave. 
That could be the one thing we need. There's also that trolley car station Senor Bronte told us about, and I heard about a high-stakes poker game. Come on. High-stakes poker game? That sounds nice. Here comes Lenny. All right. Let's get in. Go home! Oh, I ain't never felt so awkward in all my life. All them folk all so pleased with themselves. Oh, high society pigeon shit. If you ask me, it's more like torture. Well, that's sort of the point, isn't it? Let the people torture themselves. Here's them papers I took. Uh, let me see you take this. I don't think so. Hmm. I might have an idea. Let me think on it. Let me think on it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Put in your cart. Interesting times. Well, I'll just give it to you. Yeah. So what's next? Dancing lessons? Deportment? More along the lines of armed robbery. Jose is handling reconnaissance on the bank. He and Abigail are gonna run some distractions. See how the law reacts. Good. Oh, and I spoke to Evelyn Miller. Fine man. Here helping the Indian chief we saw. Yeah, I met him too, with the mayor. He's lobbying officials in San Denis on their behalf. Maybe we could help. Maybe. Now, I think there's a lot of money on the riverboat. A lot of money. And Trelawney, he's investigating for us. He says to meet him at the tailors. Okay. One big score down here, Arthur, and we disappear. We are almost heading home. Where is home? I don't know. Exactly. But I can smell it. I'm gonna go investigate this trolley thing old Bronte was talking about. Okay. Okay. Uh. Uh. Dutch came out this way. Where'd he go? He must have looped back around. Nope. I don't know. Hello, doggy. I'm gonna study the dog. I'm gonna praise the dog. Alright, let's see. I know there's another mission in camp here. Mary Beth. How are you? Well, still alive. Will you in? Ah, Hello, Mary Beth. Oh, how are you, Arthur? Fine. How are you? Um, well, I'm well, I think. It's been quite a run we've had, but, but we're still alive. Mm. So, no regrets? Regrets for what? Well, for joining this band of maniacs. If you're a girl without means in this world, life is very scary. You boys care for me before no one cared for me. Well, life weren't very nice, Arthur. Not after Mama got typhoid, and that was a long time ago. Sure. What about you? <clears throat> I heard you ran into that Mary girl. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And? You got me thinking how that all ended. Long time ago now. What happened? <laughs> well, she didn't love me enough, I guess. Or... I wouldn't change. Huh. Well, she was a fool then, Arthur. Well, she put a lot of good years in on an outlaw. She definitely was a fool. In these books, life seems so simple, but in reality, I, I can't make head nor tail of it. Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan, we have a problem. A real problem. It's Tilly. What? She's oh. been taken by them Foreman brothers she used to run with. Come along! The Foreman brothers? What are they doing here? Well, I don't know what they've been doing here, but I can tell you what they're going to be doing here. Dying. Sure. Do we need more guns? You and I can handle this, Arthur. All right. 
Where are we heading? I'll tell you on the way. Just get going. We can go bust some heads. This sounds like fun. All right. Head for road and quick. She's in road? No. She's at a place called Bradley's house, just west of there. How do you know? When we first got here, she told me she was worried that our camp was near a safe house that gang she ran with used from time to time. And you told Dutch? No. She spoke to me in confidence. I suppose I didn't think it would be a problem. And now it is. Oh, yes. What do they want with her anyway? I think I saw one of the foremans hassling her in Valentine. Yes. They probably followed us down here. You don't know what happened? She killed one of them, for good reason, but clearly they don't see it that way. Tilly? Yes. Young Tilly Jackson isn't as sweet and innocent as you might think. But like I say, she was defending herself. She fled and fell in with us right after that. I just hope we can get to her in time. It's not too far. If they've touched a single hair on that girl's head, I will eviscerate the sons of bitches. See? You do care, Miss Grimshaw. Of course I care. About all of you fools. Some just require a firmer hand than others. You especially. Anyway, talking to folks disappearing. Have you seen that boy Kieran since the party for Jack? Okay, I think that's the place up ahead. I think there's a guard. I'll deal with him. Whoa. What you want? Kind sir, we're lost and in need of some help. Don't get out of here. Oh, I see that kind of face of yours. <laughs> anyway, just get in there and find Tilly. Yeah. Miss Grimshaw did say she'd deal with it. But, uh... He was getting his gun ready, so. You right now. She really shot him. Oh. She did for me. Dead man. Are you going in there or not? I remember being really shook by it. What the <laughs> Who's next? That'll just burn the whole house down. Hey, let's go ahead and loot this guy. Yeah. It's okay. All right, let's go. Oh, come along, miss. Thank you, both of you. What happened? It was Anthony Foreman. He thinks he owns me. I remember. Where is he? He went out hunting or something. There were five of them, I think. Well, we killed those fellas there. There they are. Come on. Tilly, grab that gun. Anyone approaches, shoot them. Oh, don't worry. I'll be just fine. Now catch that uh, bastard. Uh, the one in front right. of the boat. So this guy, all right, come on. on this bastard. 
I hate last one too. chasing him. Jesus Christ, why does this? And I bet if I shoot him to end him, the game's gonna get mad at me. Miss Grimshaw, you better. Here we go. We'll just, we'll just tap on. There we go. All right, come on. Pick him up. You're coming with me. Hello, Forcey. Athalasso. Idea what you're getting into. I'm Anthony Foreman. Well, thanks for the introduction, Anthony. Is that Foreman with an A? I want the undertaker to spell it right. Funny bastard. <laughs> Who are you running with? She didn't tell you? She didn't tell me nothing. Oh, this rope is cutting into me. Don't feel so good when you're the one tied up, does it? She killed my goddamn cousin. Oh, don't worry. You'll be seeing him soon enough. What are you gonna do with me? I ain't sure yet. Reckon I'll let Tilly decide what you deserve. You're wasting your time with that girl. She's a liar. She'll screw you over like she did me. I should have shot the bitch yesterday like I said I would. You just shot now he's gonna run. Now, I I've heard enough. Whoops. I figured that the horse would have auto jumped and it didn't. Oh Jesus. Freaking Christ. And now we're gonna get like this. Here we go. Pick him up again. <sighs> get him up. Get him on the horsey. Now the fun stops. You know how sometimes the horse will auto jump a fence? Yeah, it just didn't. There we go. Okay. There, girl. Easy, girl. Yeah, good girl. <laughs> All right. Here's your man. Being nice, the horsey. Don't tell me what happens, but I'm hoping Tilly kills him. Yeet. So he's still alive then? Ah. Yes. You see this girl? You leave her alone. She killed my cousin. Your goddamn cousin had it coming, Anthony Foreman. I don't care if she shot your daddy and cooked your mama for breakfast. She's mine. She ate yours. You know, a friend of mine, he always says, <clears throat> revenge is a fool's game. Now, you want all your boys dead? She had her reasons. We was family, Tilly Jackson. You foreman boys ain't no kind of family I want. Kill him, Arthur! You want that? I want him to go away and tell the remaining of his cousins and the clowns he rides with to leave me alone! Now, you think you can do that, Anthony? Or should I slit your throat and just save us all the bother? I'll leave you alone. History is done. History is never done. It's your call, Arthur. But I'd slit his throat. Go on. Yeah, I'm going to kill him. Sadly, I agree with you. <laughs> Sorry, partner. 
We can't take no chances with the likes of you. Yeah. That may or may not have been bad for my honor, but it seemed like he needed it, so. Oh, okay. I don't know what he did, but it seems to have been pretty bad. So, I loot these bodies, too, while I'm at it. Right? Alright, temporary horse. I'm gonna go sell ya. But, it is a pretty horse. Yeah, you're alright, girl. Come here, horsey. Studying, I guess I don't have it in the... Mm, where's the, my brush? B, there it is. Okay. See, let's go. Uh, where are we going now? Mm. I guess we're gonna go do the stranger mission. Yeah. Just gonna stop touching anything. Every time I want to go somewhere, the horse goes in a different direction. What you fools up to? Is Mr. Black's fault? Oh, His fault to Darky White. Well, I don't know why they call him that. Look at him. Don't you start now. I'll knock the collar clean off you. Come on. And I'll tell you, you really live it. Enough. Huh. You two fools look like you've just run off a chain gang. Yeah, what up? What are you doing? Starving. They got bounty posters for us all over town. And we can't go into town to get supplies. Say, mister, maybe you can do us fools a favor. We ain't bad guys at all. He's okay. You and for a darky. Shut it, you pasty face streak of piss. Yeah, I had up to here with you. No. Do your goddamn favor what you want. Maybe you can go into town and take down them wanted posters of us. <sighs> okay. Maybe meet us back at the campfire in the woods and tell us how you did. Uh, maybe bring us a little bite to eat. Don't push your luck. Nice fella. Yeah, you love nice fella. Don't you start up again. Just shut up. You shut up! Oh, that sucks. Alright, so they want me to take down their wanted posters. So let's see where they got wanted posters. Okay. That's cool. Hello, Wyatt Woodsward. Just went inside the post office? Okay. We're gonna go inside the post office then. Hey, there we go. Wanted, here we go. Let's inspect the poster. There's one behind the guy, too. He was doing this in the post. Are you well? Hey, move! Alright, uh... I'll try to do that one last, because I don't... I reckon I'll get a... I'll get more of a... Does it cause my ba me to get more of a bounty? Out there. Yes, bad. Stay worse than worse. Yeah, no, I figured it would. Gossip. 
Found one by the police station. Uh, uh, where else would you put a, a wanted poster? Uh... I oh, know you're just selling news. You're not the problem. She's fine. Just fine. Marlene? Still with us. Have a fine day. Ah! Uh. So help me get something to eat. Move already. Please, now. I need a little food. Let's get some little food. Here we go. Cargo pickup. Oh, this looks like it. Nope, I don't see it. Anything near the, the the graveyard? People of the night, please. Yes, I am a people of the night. Hello, you look hungry. Hello, butcher. I am hungry. We go on the bank. What the hell is wrong with you? You ask what the hell's wrong with me? Y'all got any wanted posters in here? Guess not. Okay. Well, I can't find any more. So I know that's one of them, but like, there's still three. Yeah. So there's still one more. Hmm. Maybe near the saloon. I don't see nothing near the saloon though. Ah, yes. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Mister, I need that poster. There's been a recall. I weren't born yesterday. This one's mine, so you can the go and get your you own. You get out of the way. This guy's shooting at me. Somebody was stealing my horse too in the process. Alright, come on, Sheriff. Look, man. I didn't want to do this. Poster. I'm just trying to interact with the poster now, but I can't. Jesus, okay. Of course, we gotta get out of here. My bounty keeps going up. Whoa, girl, Well, like, the guy that was, it wanted me to fight for the poster, I just went ahead and killed him. I did too. And, uh, and then his body was lying there, so I couldn't interact with the poster. Jesus. That's cool, girl. Hold up, I gotta feed this horse. Alright, let's.
let's brush you. Ah. Okay, girl. And fade. Here you go, horsey. I didn't mean for you to get shot or whatever. this stupid ass bounty. Eh. I guess I will go ahead and pay it, although I think I can sneak into town and get out before, uh... Okay, so I can't pay my bounty. Got it. It's not that I don't have money. Game doesn't want me to. Huh. I'm just gonna run past the lawman. Where is that at? Okay. Nice. Okay. Four of five of the maps have been found. So there's still one somewhere. I guess there's nothing up in here. I don't know. I beg your pardon. That's the man there. Rot. Hello. You don't sir. Say. Here enough to scare the horses looking like that. <laughs> Eight defuse come to a head. Scores dead in roads. I'll buy a newspaper. Please don't be troubling me now. I ain't giving you no trouble. Number forty seven. Pick a good one there. Let me study this dog too. You okay, Praise boy? The dog. I'll study you, and I'll give you some pat. Okay, where would you put the last? Did you fight the guy with the behind the the with the poster behind him? Uh huh. 
Okay, and there's two post ones. Did you get another one that was on a post? No. I did. It's like near the edge of one of the sides of the town. There's one where it's like uncontested. So it's pretty easy to get to. Ow. Okay. It's on a post near the edge of town. I guess I'll hop on my horse and see if I can cover some more ground that way. Here, scum. You'll be you sorry. Like the way that gun feels in your head. Oh, you're gonna be looking for me again. Okay. All right, horse. Where you? Where you at? Where you at? Come on. Let's get out of here. Let's get back into town. Let's go find that poster. Yep. I probably shouldn't have killed the last guy that I killed. He's probably a little extra overzealous, but he was a witness. And we both know you just can't have too many. Out of damn way. Oh. <laughs> I'm, I might be built different or something. I don't know. Here we go. Inspect. Come on, game. Before I get killed here. Oh yeah, these bounty hunters is after me. See me. Yeah. Hey, this is the law tail. Move it, Dad. I don't know what I'll tell you. Who they shooting? Okay, well. I think we're gonna get away. Away. Okay, good, good, good. But I got the last poster. But that's when they saw me, but that's whatever. Yeah. So 
Well, anyway, now these chain gang people want me to meet them at their campfire. I don't know where their campfire's at. Oh, okay, so they're just. There we go. The spot showed up on the map. I literally walked through. Here we go. Hey, friend. Hello. I was in town. Mm. Pretty hot. There's quite a price on you boys. It is so unfair. I, I didn't do nothing. Well, they said you was wanted for murder. It wasn't murder. It was self-defense. And you killed a farmer? Well, firstly, I would have. But he died before I could, and secondly, well, he had it coming. He... I don't like to say. Well... Well, find the posters. Ain't no business of mine. Here's the posters. Thanks, partner. That's that, then. That's that, free at last. All right. Let's break out our map. Where are we going? Mm. Sadie and yeah, we'll go to a Sadie mission. Let's go do some shooting. We'll do the Sadie mission. I don't feel like going into Saint Denis just yet. Uh, but then we'll go and knock out all the Saint Denis missions. Yeah. I should have sold this horse and paid that bounty, but I tried to pay the bounty. It wouldn't let me. Hey, who's there? It's Arthur, me. You dumbass. Alright, horsey. You're here. God, it's so laggy in camp. Sadie, let's talk. How you doing, Mrs. Edler? How are you? Been quite a journey since I, well, since I joined you fellas. And now you and Dutch have joined high society. My lord above. Yeah, it seems so. I think my days in polite society are over. Well, I just saw Bill Williamson at a party at the San Denise's mayor's house. <laughs> if he can do it, anyone can. Did you get any leads? Yeah, I think so. You know so, Arthur Morgan. Come on, we need to talk. Miss Sadler, will you excuse us? When are you gonna let me come Robin with you, Dutch? My lord, a few more like her, we could take over the whole world. Yeah. A few more like her, there wouldn't be much of a world left. Yes, perhaps. Now, the trolley bus station. I went down there. I took a look at it. I think we can hit it. <laughs> I ain't never robbed in a city before. Yeah, well, you leave the planning to me. He'll ride with me. Always. Is it just you and me? No, we'll need one more, I reckon. I say Lenny. Not Micah. Well, that depends if you want a massacre or a pay day. No, I wish that there was something I could do to make the two of you get along better. Well, that's easy. Make him change. Very funny. <laughs> hmm. What is that? What the hell have they done to me? Look, they have a tree line. Everybody take cover! Oh, We're yep. Oh, that was a good shootout.
Yep, I'm I'm on it. Get to the front door. Alright, going through here. We'll go down the stairs. Oh, damn, Driscoll. What's happening? Oh, Driscoll. Hold in here. Stay away from the window. You tell Mr. Pierce. Shit. Get inside. Fast. Come on, quick. Don't let anyone back through that door. Arthur! I hate to kill horses. What really do. But. Covered quickly. John, you take the windows over there. Charles, you take the side door there. Arthur, you take the windows in the back. Go! Arthur got the windows in the back. Alright. We need some time venison. There! 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 Get them all! Is everyone accounted for? I think. Hey! I said, is everyone accounted for? I don't know. I think. Well, John, I need you to tell me if it's accounted for. I don't. Oh, somebody's coming. I gotta go help. Cover me. Look what we got here. There we go. All right, through the window. Come on, what was the button? I swear it was space bar. Why did you get inside? She got it. Okay. I miss all this. Come on, Arthur. Now we go back. We need you in the house, Mrs. Adler. Oh no, they don't. Get another one of these stakes get one here. Alright, now we'll go back, get back and think of it again.
okay? I think so. Except for Karen here. Uh, oh yeah, we got him good. Poor kid. Mr. Swanson, could you take this boy and bury him someplace near, but not too near? Of course. Charles, help me with the box. We need to get this place cleaned up. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw. Already taking care of it. Come on now, work. Colm O'Driscoll. That man can really hate me. So can I, Arthur. So can I. We need to get moving. Away from here. So we should start looking for another camp. You ain't thinking big enough, Arthur. You ain't seeing the vastness of our problems and our opportunities. I'm not sure I get you. You will, son. You will. Meet me near the trolley station. We got work. Shall we? Yep. He saved my life, and I could not save his. Mrs. Adler fought braver than any of us. She is driven by powerful forces I scarcely understand. That's what love has done to her, I guess. All right. Now, I haven't eaten stew in a couple Careful of days, so I'm hoping, can I get some food in me? This has all gotten a little crazy. We need to find where those O'Driscolls are at. They I go don't want to just take some food, I want the whole fucking stew. Oh, Arthur. I can't believe those pigs did that to him. Again? He was such a gentle soul. Yeah, he saved my life one time. I'll miss him. You make the bastards pay, Arthur. If we get the chance, we surely shall. Okay, well, let's see. Okay, so that... Thing keeps lighting up in my room. I guess I should go see what that is first, and then we'll go into Saint Denis and grind out those missions. My dear Arthur, I hope this letter finds you well. I wanted to thank you for your help with Janie. He and Daddy are still arguing, but I understand that Janie is thinking about going back to college. Whatever happens, I believe you saved his life and we are all truly grateful. Oh, Arthur, I have made such a mess of my life time and again. Why can I not change and be the woman I want to be? Why couldn't you change and be a man and put down all those fantasies that shroud your judgment? Life is very confusing, and I see now that I am not very good at it. I'm afraid we've got ourselves into another mess. It's not my fault, but I need your help. I'm staying at the Hotel Grand in San Denis. Oh, Arthur. I know it is wrong to ask you, but I have nobody else, and for what we once had together, I beg of you, even though I am ashamed to do so, yours, Mary.
Hmm, let me check something real quick. Um. Okay. Fast travel? How does this fast travel work? I like that. That is nice. Come on. Horsey, what are you doing? Ah, hate. mind when the horse works. Can anybody show me some kindness? Can anybody show please. me some kindness? You, you yes. sound please. familiar. Coin, please. please. Don't you lend a coin to a fella in need? Yeah, I'll give you a quarter. Sir, I want you to have this. Thanks, friend. It's nice to give something instead of just begging. The mission is pulsing. So it seems like it really wants me to go there. But I'm not going there. I'm going to the other stranger mission. Hello, sirs. Bonjour. We'll get past the sirs. What is this? I'm saying you give me a little bit. I'm not saying any more. One moment, please. Hey, 
This is extremely delicate. There. Ah, wonderful. Algernon Wasp, purveyor of the exotic and the exquisite. Enchanté. Uh, Tacitus Kilgore. How can I help you? May I interest you in a uh, hat, perhaps? How about a nymph? No. I import them from Brussels. The idiots in this town all want Italian nymphs, but the Italians make the coarsest of marble. I mean, quite frankly, the Baroque is an abomination. Belgium. Now that is a land for the connoisseur. Oh, yes. Yeah, as I always say. But, you know, I'm not really a nymph kind of man. Oh, of course, too ephemeral. You want something uh, more tangible, more gothic. I also make corsets. Would you like a corset? I always wear one. Uh, no, I don't think so. Yeah, I ride a lot of horses. Um, the whalebone might stick in. Mm, well, a cup of tea. Uh, sure. And what is it you do, Mr. Kilgore? Are you a gentleman of leisure? An aesthete? <gasps> an artist. Uh, I suppose I'm <clears throat> kind of an adventure. Ha! Huh. Yes, of course you are. Yeah, be careful with the china. Sir, it is French. Not uh, Belgian? No, oh, no, no. They are Philistines in that area not to be trusted. Youth, eternally preserved in marble is more their specialty. I fear China will always elude them. Now, why are you here exactly? I don't know. You're an adventurer, a wanderer, a lost soul cast out from heaven? <sighs> sure. Well, I do pay exceptionally well for certain objects needed for my art. Mm, you do? I do. Exceptionally well. Well, what do you need? Let's see. Right now, I have a couple of commissions. I need at least 15 egret plumes. Good ones, obviously. I also need 15 assorted orchids. Here's a list. Okay. I will see what I can do. Thanks for the tea. Thank you, Tacitus. It'll be very worth your while. Okay, so I'm just going to go on... Oh, jeez. Ah, will you? Brush, hat, bead. That's my boy. <laughs> That's my boy. Boy. Let's go to the next stranger in town, which is over here. Excuse me, bud! What? <laughs> Listen, bit of a weird question, but do you know where I might find some moonshine? What? Moonshine. You know, strong liquor, over strong. Wow, you want to get over drunk? <laughs> no, no, it's not for drinking. <laughs> what is it for? Oh, I just need some. Well, as luck would have it, you are in the legal hooch capital of America. Ooh. There's plenty of real booze here. Good. But for shine, well... I'm guessing you'd need to go out into the woods. I mean, I know you'd have to go out into the woods. Now listen, I don't need that much. How much? About a hundred gallons. Oh, shine? Yes, thereabouts. Why? Oh, all right, I'm trying. I'm building a machine. A machine of love. <laughs> hundred gallons machine of hooch and love's love. gonna come pretty cheap. Please, friend. I'll pay. Just, just, just bring it here. For good cause. Well... If anyone knows who's moving that kind of shine, it'll be that stagecoach guy, Rhodes. Howdy. 
Hey, mister. All right, it wants me to go to the stagecoach guy in Rhodes. For what? To figure out where a shipment of a hundred gallons of moonshine is. All right, well, I guess I'll get one. Let me see. Hold on, there's so much to do in this town. Ah, yes, this is a noble thing. We'll go do this one. Hello, sir. Get hey there, mister. Yeah. <laughs> Bet you wouldn't miss some teeth. Goddamn lunatic! Yep. <laughs> yep. Some kids try to lure me into an alley. I did. I think that's the one that got me some good. Yep, I'm not losing two thousand dollars to that. to pay them to find out where the nearest whorehouse was. Hey, do I know you? Mr. I believe we've met. We have. At that ghastly party. Oh, Evelyn Miller. Unfortunately so, Mr. Arthur Morgan, at least sometimes. Uh, can I say something rude? Sure. The mayor thinks you robbed him. Well, I... uh, to be clear, he... He wasn't very upset about it. He rather liked you. Okay. Do you, uh... Well, I mean to say, uh, Can you steal things? Is there a reason you're asking me to incriminate myself, Mr. Miller? Well, I'm sorry. Have you met? Uh, this is Rain's Fall, a great chief, and his son, Eagle Flies. Gentlemen, yeah, we saw you in the wagon train crossing the river at Cumberland Falls. And at the party, you were upstairs. You have great powers of observation. Yes, my people, if we are even a people anymore. We've fought hard. We've made peace treaties. And those treaties were broken. And we've been moved and punished and punished and moved. I'm sure. And now I am told we are to be moved again. Clearly, contravening the peace treaty signed three years ago. This will lead to war. No, my son. Not. We cannot fight another war. They have got stronger, and we have become far weaker, Mr. Morgan. Well, it's a bad business. It's to do with oil. I know it is, but I need the proof. I believe there were some prospectors who were on their land a few months ago mm. who have filed reports with Leviticus Cornwall and the state government claiming huge reserves of oil under their land. You want me to try and steal it? Obviously they can. <laughs> and even more obviously, I would be useless. <clears throat> Listen, I realize that it is a ridiculous request, but we're very desperate. Now, I'm not a do-gooder, Mr. Miller. Gentlemen, I'm very sorry for your predicament, but 
I'm a working man. I got problems of my own. We will pay you very handsomely, Mr. Morgan. How much? Mm -hmm. I told you, they're all mercenaries. <laughs> <laughs> There's a price on my head in two states, my friend. The government doesn't like me any more than it does you. Like you, I've been running for as long as I can remember. And like you, my time here is nigh undone. We understand, and we will pay. Thank you. You meet my son in a couple of days near Citadel Rock, just west of the oil fields. Okay. We are very grateful for your help. Gentlemen, an appointment with the Senator. We should head over there. It's a waste of our time. And his. We must try everything. Come along. Hello, Mr. Miller. The counselor wants to apologize. He can see you now. We've been waiting I don't know how long. Or next month, if you'd like to reschedule. Come. Perhaps the senator won't mind waiting. Yeah. All right, so... Meet Eagle Flies, you have Cornwall, Kerosene, and Pearl. Okay. Bicycle, you know. Sounds easy enough. Why is my horse up here? Come on now, boy. That's basically exactly what's happening. Now, that's a stable. Bounty hunting. Now, the oil fields, I thought we're out near Valentine. Heartland oil fields. Sure enough. So, I just, I don't see where it wants me to meet him. So, I guess I'll go do another mission first. Trelawney or Dutch? Or what are you? Mary Linton. I guess we'll go talk to Mary. You must be damn stupid if you think you can come back here. straight down Henry Arthur rubs his teeth Arthur. keeping clean Hello Mary You came Sure Whenever you call for me I'll come uh, Oh Arthur What's wrong Daddy Your father I'm a bigger fool than I even thought. I, I'm begging you, Arthur. I know Daddy was not kind to you, huh? but but surely you cannot hate a man for the sin of loving his daughter and wanting better for her than... Than, than me? Than the choices you what make. What choice did I have? Did I ever have? Oh, I know. You had to live by your code. But your code is... Well, it's not right. Has your way been right, Mary? With you? And Jamie joining a bunch of crazies? And hypocritical daddy with his drinking and whoring and gambling? Huh? Is that what a pure life has gotten you? Begging me for help? Oh, Arthur. Be kind to me. Please. Sorry. I am... I should have asked someone else, but... But I'm the best guy you know at frightening decent people. It wasn't that I didn't love you, Arthur. You know that. Mm. 
Oh, Arthur. We were so very young. Think how different life could have been. Yeah, I think about it. A lot. But it all seems so long ago and far away now. Will you help me try to save Daddy? Do I help Mary? I guess so. Come along, Dan. Where are we going? What's the old lovable patriarch been up to now? Oh, Arthur, you know sarcasm's beneath you. He's been gambling and drinking and other things. Oh, the filthy rotter. Where can we find him? He said he was going down to the Theodore Eckhart stables. Something about a horse. It's down by the water in the warehouse district near the train yard. Come on, then. Don't be a pompous ass, Arthur. It doesn't suit you. Oh, should I leave that to Daddy? Leave Daddy alone. He suffers enough. Well, I suppose I can take some consolation in that. No, oh, Arthur. I should have ran away with you years ago. Well, you wouldn't. No, I didn't. But, well, I don't know. So what do you think he's up to? I'm not sure. He keeps saying it's a disgrace a man of his standing has to ride around on some old nag. Standing? He's usually falling down. Arthur. He wasn't always this way. But it has got worse. He's drinking and gambling more than ever. Pawning things off left and right. Mixing with bad people. I'm just scared for him. Don't worry too much. Whatever it is, we'll work it out. This is the place. Let me go in and see what kind of a state he's in. Sure. I'll wait here. Good luck. Scream if you need any help. Very funny. You can't stand there. What, in the street? Yes, in the street. Is it your street? Just get out of here. Why? I said, just get out of here. Listen, partner. I'm waiting on a lady. A fine lady. She's just gone inside. So if I wasn't waiting on this lady, you'd be dead already. But if you continue to irritate me, I'll kill you. And make my apologies to the lady. It's your call. Oh, I didn't mean nothing. You've been so mean to my father. Apology accepted. Oh, my own wait daughter. right there. I have half a mind. To kill you myself. Daddy. No. Oh, Daddy, please come home. You're tired, Daddy. Tired. I and have no unwell. such thing. You get away from me. You head home. I insist upon it. Leave me be. Damn nuisance. Excuse me, partner. Still as charming as ever, I see. Oh, Arthur. He's up to no good. We better follow him. Okay. This way. Keep Arthur, your distance or you'll be spotted. You. He went around the corner. Yes, Mary, I see he went around the corner. See why he has such a high opinion of himself. We'll just follow the smell. Arthur, come on. He just went between those crates.
Come here, <laughs> quick. Mind where you go. Mind where you go. Sorry? Do you think he saw us? I don't think so. What did you say to me? I didn't say a thing insulting. Am I going to get the pipe? Come on. Goddamn smirk. Clean off your face. <laughs> Ain't you a little old for brawling, mister? Damn you! I was hoping Arthur was going to be able to fight somebody. No, this is kind of fun. Shh. He'll hear you. You could have cleaned yourself up a bit. I didn't realize I was here to impress anyone. Wow, Mary telling me I could have cleaned up a bit. Bitch. You know how many people I've been shooting today on this on this sunrise only? Let's go find out. Wait, Arthur. Any closer and he'll spot us. What's he doing? What do you think he's doing? Well, he's either waiting for a woman of dubious morals or he's trying to sell something. So, Ashton, you got the money? Seems he's selling something. Have you got the brooch, Mr. Gillis? Yes. Here. Here's the money. <laughs> oh, that is beautiful. It's a family heirloom. That was mother's brooch. Not any longer, Mr. Gillis. Enjoy the money. And should you need any more, I can offer you a loan at a very reasonable rate of interest. No, thank you. I've heard what happens to folks who take loans from you. It's not a piece to sell. It's just a brooch. At least he didn't get himself killed. You don't understand. Mother left it to me. You sold my mother's brooch? How could you? You! That's theft! Oh, speaking of thieves, I, I see you found your outlaw again. Hello, sir. Have you been well? Daddy, how could you? Mary, wait here. I'll go get the brooch. Don't hurt anyone, Arthur. You gonna tell me not to hurt no one. Hey, you, Ashton, hold her right there. Hey, damn it. Arthur, why are you running at once? I don't have my horse. How am I supposed to be expected to keep up with this thing? And why is my horse standing when I'm whistling for it? It's not even... Your wagon. Get I'm gonna get here. you. You stop right now. So, I'm chasing after this wagon. I don't, do I just keep chasing or do I shoot him? 
She told me not to hurt anyone, so I figured don't shoot her, but... Get back on the horse, they're running. What the hell is wrong with you? I bought that brooch fair and square. Get out of there. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. It's just a brooch. I want that brooch. It wasn't Gillis's to sell. I bought it fair and square. How much do you want for it? I guess I could give it to you for a hundred dollars. A hundred? What do you take me for? Okay, okay. Uh, I'm a reasonable man. Let's say fifty. Not good enough, Ashton. Okay, Jesus. Twenty-five dollars, that's my final offer. Twenty-five dollars, beat it or buy it. Beat it. Twenty-five dollars? Okay. Take the damn thing. You crazy son of a bitch. You don't know who you're... Somebody... Alright. Yeah, I'll go get her a brooch back. Yep. The game's probably not gonna like it, but he started to run away and I just shot him. No, the um the dude that he sold the dad sold the brooch to. He was running away and I was just like, eh, shot a gun to the back. Where's your father? I don't know. Find him again? Not really. Well, let's take a walk. I'll take you to the trolley. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Oh. Nice. Yeah, I had to chase him far. Uh, got you your brooch back. I won't ask. Probably best not. <laughs> hey. I won't ask. Probably best not. What are you doing now? Right this moment? Why'd you ask? <laughs> well, I was wondering if you wanted to do something. Uh, head to the theater, perhaps. <laughs> oh, gee, she wants to go to the theater. Yeah, yeah. Me? I'm not cleaned up for sure, the theater. Why not? It'll be but fun, fine. Arthur. Let's go to the Relure. They have the strangest acts. <laughs> strangest I can handle. Uh, it's the normal business of life. I can't seem to get a grip on it. Oh, jeez. You and me both, Arthur. Oh, I've missed you. Don't start. <laughs> You're an idiot. But you'll always be my friend. Well, of course I'm your friend, but... 
You ain't always fair with me. If I was fair with you and a good person, I'd have had you hanged a long time ago. Well, that's true. <laughs> so, shut up and act like a gentleman, or at least try to for once in your brainless life. But Arthur needs not a to very clean nice up. woman, Mrs. Lynn. <laughs> well, look at the company I keep. I know it's quite dreadful, isn't it? <laughs> Sort of beautiful, in a gaudy and tasteless way. It's the only way I know. <laughs> Thank you. Well, no, I didn't mean it like that. I'm sure. <clears throat> I'm sure. Man. Come on, let's go find our seats. How about here on the right? Sure. After you. Okay, so now that we're in the theater. Oh, geez. Okay. Uh. Welcome! <laughs> and thank you for that thunderous applause. I am I guess we... T. Abington, the greatest assembler of Earth since Nero himself. Do not doubt. As a child, when I walked the horse manure covered streets of Saint Denis, I never dreamed of the stir I would create so, in this locality. Just as starting a or not. Are you in a the rush, the greatest Arthur? show ever assembled. Prepare for the grandest excitement of your curiosity. Fire, snakes, and magic. I encourage any of you to dabble in all three if you have a settled aversion to manual labor as I do. For entertainment is a gift that will see you through the winter better than any packed larder or root cellar full of canned goods. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a truly stunning musical performance to the stage, Miss Robin Koninsky! Thank you for joining us. Now let's talk a little bit about this place we all love called Saint Denis. You better take me to the trolley now, Mr. Morgan. Of course. <laughs> Quite ridiculous, but shame we couldn't stay longer. Sorry. <laughs> My life wasn't supposed to... Oh. Is it too late for us, Arthur? Yes, bitch, it is too late for us. Can't lie to you. Anyone close to me, well, they wanted to, and I can't have you wrapped up in that. But it's coming to an end. This time it really is. Run away with me. 
Arthur, run away right now and one. don't look back. I didn't do it all the way though. I want to. More than anything I want to. But I've got some people I need to take care of. Once they're free, then I'm free. Then I can disappear. But Arthur. If we're gonna run away anywhere, we need money. Soon I'll have some. I know you won't run away. But it's a pretty dream. Very pretty. But I will. Once I get some money. And I had some. But then some fool got it trapped into a town and I can't go back to. It's another story. I'll write you. Yeah. Aw, she's just gonna write me. Rip. Dutch mission right here. I'm kind of toast. Yeah. Map. Yeah, I don't want to save in St. Denise either. Yeah, I'm pretty close to the post office. We'll go to the post office and pay some debts. Get that out of the way. Madam? She meet up with the young dude, right? 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 Or whatever, I guess. She could do a ten five dollar bracelet. I'll be tending to you shortly. Nice. All right, let's pay the bounty. Pay your debt. Oh, Hello, shit. how can I help? I keep sidling up that. Two of them. Hate to say it, but nice doing business with you. All right, that hurt my wallet in a bad way, but all my bounties are paid. Thanks for your assistance. Just handing this cash. My five hundred and seventy dollar uh, influx. Let's go, boy. back on the outskirts of town. Let's take a look at the map. What are we doing tomorrow? We've got a Dutch mission. We've got the Trelawney mission. Is there anything back at camp? Leopold Strauss. I guess we'll go talk to him. Mm-hmm. Don't you go to like collect the debt and like I need medicine. Oh. 
Don't go eating random plants now, mister. There you go. Catch the horse, come on. All right, nugget. Mr. Morgan. Still working, Mr. Strauss. What you been up to? Trying to wrap up our accounts before we leave, Mr. Morgan. So you'll be joining us in Tahiti. I uh, rather fancied Australia. A similar kind of people to us. Lots of opportunity. That tells me we're going to be rich. Perhaps, but um, so far we have not raised many cattle. No. So, Mr. Morgan. Will you help me finalize our business here? <coughs> this is filthy work. We'll need money in Australia. Well, for cattle and feed, I mean. Why flinch now? You never have done before. I don't know. Well, here they are. Some fishermen by the name of Davison, Algy Davison, living in a place called Catfish Jackson near Scarlet Meadows. A fisherman. And that's it. We're a union built on that, you know. Okay. Alright, so I know the guy, the name of the guy who wants me to go after, so I'm basically done here. There's just one thing about a campfire I want to check out. I need to eat some camp food, because Jesus, my food supply is depleted. I get used to getting some weight. There we go, stew bowl. Take me a stew bowl. Come here, Arthur. Stew. How have you been, Arthur? Okay. 
You seem Are well, you Reverend? Reverend? Yes. Well, maybe. I've been okay before, but then I make a fool of myself again. So do I. I went into town. Yes, so Bill. Did I. So did if I was town. still a, a religious man, I'd say there are too many Catholics there, but I've, I've given up on all that. Uh, me too, Reverend. I met a monk there. Kind of took me back to my days in college. Is there any purpose to this conversation, Reverend? Not really, but he said the strangest things about all manner of bad things happening in town. Bad things happening in a city. <laughs> Who would have thought it possible? Well, maybe if you're there, you could have a chat with him. He's hanging about outside the marketplace, collecting alms for the poor. What can you use spark plugs Sounds for? Besides right. being spark plugs? Whatever you want, the first one comes in last and it was a full piece of Did they try to turn spark plugs into a... Did you even like... Did you have... I want something that can 